Hi, so I'm just going to show you really quick um, what you'll need to transfer oxygen from one tank to another. Here I have in my hands a transfill hose it's called. It has a gauge um, and a 540 connection on this side and that goes to an 870 medical connection on the other side. I'm going to show you really quick on these 870s that there is a little washer with a rubber ring and if that is not there, um, you're gonna get oxygen leaking. So just make sure that that is there. Um, so this is one of them. I do have actually another kind. Uh, and it's, it's the same, it looks the same, except for instead of the 540 connector on this side, you're going to have another 870 connector. Um, so this is to connect a medical tank to another medical tank. Um, the other one is to connect an industrial tank to a medical tank. Uh, so let's show you now how to fill the oxygen tank. Now if I have a tank like this, a, a large uh, tank with an, an industrial 540 connection, I'm going to take my uh, transfill hose with the 540 connection. I'm just going to put it on there, screw it down until it's finger tight. And then I'll go ahead and I'll grab a wrench and I'll finish that process, uh, making sure it's, it's nice and snug. Uh, this is a crescent wrench. Um, these work well for this purpose. Um, I don't have to really refine it, but it does need to be nice and tight. So that's how you connect that side. And now we'll go ahead and connect the other side to our medical tank. So I have two medical tanks here. Um, I have a D tank and then I have an M, M4 tank. Uh, they both have the uh, actually the same connection and all of these medical tanks really do. Um, they've got a stem with a, if ideally you'll have a toggle valve on the top here um, that will allow you to open and close your valve on the, on the tank itself. Um, it'll have a couple holes here and a hole here um, and that's where we're actually going to connect up our 870 connection from the transfill hose. So I'm just going to simply slide it over slide it over the head there and I'll feel those two prongs just kind of slide into place. Then I will tighten this down um, and it goes into a little slot and I just hand tighten that down. Um, now I'm ready to fill my tank. I've got it connected securely on this side and I've got it connected securely on this side. I'm going to make sure the valve is open on the top of this tank, uh, the small tank that I'm filling. Then I'm going to slowly open the valve on my larger tank, my fill tank, and I can hear the oxygen uh, transferring from one tank to the other. Uh, so. I'm just going to go ahead and allow that process to continue. Once this tank is, this smaller tank is full, you'll hear that hissing stop and you'll see the needle stop. Um, and it basically is just going to fill whatever PSI or pressure I have in the larger tank um, will equalize in the smaller tank. So if I have a thousand or 1500 PSI here, I'll have 1,000 or 1,500 PSI here when I'm done with this filling process. Um, once that tank is full, I'm actually going to open it up just a little bit more. Um, you don't want to fill too quickly, so don't, uh, don't, fill it, uh, don't open it up all the way. Just let it fill fairly slowly. Once it's done hissing, the needle stop. I open it a little bit more, make sure that's all. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this valve off on the top here. I'm going to close this valve off on the top here, make sure those are done. And then I'm going to take this off here. You're going to hear some, some oxygen releasing when I do that. There you go. And that's all it should be. If you hear more oxygen than that coming out and it keeps coming, that means your valve is not shut here. So make sure and, sh and, and close that off. Uh, so that's it for transferring oxygen from your uh, 540 uh, connection tank to your 870 connection tank. Now if I'm going to transfer oxygen from a medical tank to a medical tank, the process is the same as from an industrial tank to a, a medical tank. 
Um, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to take my H70 medical connection, slide it over the stem and the toggle valve. And some of these medical tanks won't come with a toggle valve. They'll actually just have the stem and you'll need to take a wrench and turn that. Uh, it's easier to use these toggle valves. So I order them with those on. I mean, if you order from O3 Vets, that's what you'll get. I'm going to take my other small tank and uh, I'm going to screw this out so that I have room to run this over the stem. And it's going to seat down onto those prongs and then once it's done that I'm going to take this and I'm going to screw it down on there so it gets nice and tight. Okay and then what I can do is I can make sure the valve is open on my small tank and open the valve on my large tank and fill that up and then when it's done all I'm going to do again is shut the valve off on the large tank, shut the valve off on the small tank, and then release the uh, pressure that's in the hose by simply opening one of these. And you want to do this in a place where you're not going to, where they're not tipping and falling <laughs> um, on the ground, preferably. And that's all there is to it. Now one last little consideration here is um, leaking. So if we get leaking when we're filling our oxygen uh, tanks, there's a couple possibilities. The first one is that we've lost our little rubber washer that sits inside of this uh, H70 connection. If that's not in there or if that's damaged in some way, you'll get leaking. Um, that's the first thing. The second thing is if these connections here aren't tight, uh, then you can get leaking around these connections or if the Teflon tape wasn't uh, applied properly, it's possible that you could get connect leaking there. So the first fix is to go ahead and find out where it's, where it's leaking from, which one, and to try to tighten that or to take it off completely, re -put, uh, wrap it with Teflon tape and put it back together. Um, the other option is that you have a faulty uh, um, gauge here and it can leak out around the seams there so if that's the case you'll need to get a replacement uh, sent to you. Uh, those are pretty much the the only options that, as it regards leaking of these transfill hoses.